Okay, we got percent concentration to talk about here. And out of all of the concentration units we've dealt with in this, in this section, in this, in this unit, this is the easiest one to work with. really is. You don't have to do any conversions into moles or anything like that, okay? Percent concentration, uh, there are different types of percent concentrations, but the only type that it, we're going to deal with is the one that's the most common. And unless you're told otherwise, in the mass over mass form. Okay, now sometimes you'll see V over V, which means percent by volume, but we're only going to deal with percent by mass. I mean, doing the two of them are really not that much difficult, more difficult, okay? But what that means is you're going to take the mass of the solute. Molar mass? No, just the mass. Just the measured mass. And you're going to put that over the sum of masses of the solute and solvent. So mass of the solute plus the mass of the solvent. Times 100 to get a percent. Now, the mass of the solute and the mass of the solvent together make up the mass of the solution. Okay? So this is equal to mass of the solute over the mass of the solution. Times 100. And that's going to get your percent concentration. So it's important that you recall that the solution is made of solute and solvent together. So solution mass is equal to solute mass plus solvent mass. And that's why you can go from this to this. Or if you need to, you start with this, if, if you're given the mass of the solution. Okay? So the math is pretty simple. Let's work through one and then give you one to work with. Actually, there's one on the practice test, so I may just work one with here and you can do the one on the practice test. We'll see. So if we have, let's say, 14.05 grams of hexane, We dissolve that in 47.35 grams of paraffin, which we said is candle wax. What is the percent concentration. Okay, we need to identify the solute here and the solvent. What is the solute in this problem? 
Okay, the hexane is the sol solute because it's the thing that is being dissolved. And the solvent is paraffin or the candle wax. Okay. And so you've identified those two. You've got the two amounts. You basically just plug it in. Okay. Now, do you want to work this yourself and then me work it with you? So you that way you can practice that way? Or do you want me to just do it for you? I hear, how many of you want to work it yourself first? I see only about three hands. That's the smart thing is to do it yourself first. You may work with a partner if you'll do it quietly. And then we'll come back and we'll do it as a class to make sure you've got everything done properly, okay?